13-year-old Dylan Redwine was last seen on November 18, 2012, during a visit to his father's house in Vallecito, Colorado for the Thanksgiving holiday. Dylan's father, Mark Redwine, claims that Dylan went to sleep around 9 p.m. on the night of the 18th, and that his son was still at the house at 7.30 a.m. when Mark left to do some errands that morning. After returning home at 11.30 a.m., Redwine noticed his son was gone, but assumed he had left to visit one of his friends. Redwine then claimed he took a nap and started looking for Dylan around 2.33 p.m. before alerting police about his missing child. Months later, Dylan's parents would accuse each other of being involved with the disappearance of their son during an interview on The Dr. Phil Show. In that interview, Mark Redwine mentions that Nickelodeon was on the television when he returned home that morning, and that he didn't notice all of his son's possessions were missing, including Dylan's fishing pole. In response, Dylan's mother Elaine Hall claims Dylan watched MTV and not Nickelodeon. She also claims that Dylan had no interest in fishing and didn't even know how to string up the line for his fishing pole. She then went on to say that her ex-husband didn't know his son well enough to make up a believable story. When questioned why the two weren't setting their differences aside to focus on the search for their son, Elaine Hall claims that Mark Redwine's only contact with her was a text message telling her Dylan was missing. She then tried to call and text Redwine in response, but couldn't because he had blocked her number. Redwine claims he did call his ex-wife and was met with accusations suggesting he had something to do with the disappearance. He then stated that his wife never tried to call him. Both Elaine and Dylan's older brother, Corey, claim that Mark Redwine made no attempts to help search for Dylan and never attended any events to raise funds and awareness for the missing teen. Later in the episode, Dr. Phil questions Redwine about the results of a polygraph test he had taken and Redwine states that he failed one polygraph and that a second test came up as inconclusive. In another segment, Redwine is asked to take a polygraph on the show. He agreed, but wanted to take the test the following day because he felt overwhelmed at the time. The next day, the polygraph was cancelled 20 minutes into the hour and a half long process after Redwine was asked if he felt well enough to take the test, to which he responded, no. He then stated that the reason he didn't feel well was because he only got three hours of sleep and drank half a bottle of Jim Beam the previous night. On June 27, 2013, it was announced that Dylan Redwine's remains were discovered near Middle Mountain Road, eight miles from Mark Redwine's home. They did not find Dylan's skull. Shortly after the teen's body was discovered, Redwine made comments to one of Dylan's brothers, stating that investigators would have to find the rest of the body, including the skull, before they could determine what had happened to the boy. On November 1, 2015, Dylan's skull was found a mile and a half distance from where the other remains were found. Investigators say they found signs of blunt force trauma and marks similar to those made by a knife and not wildlife or some other natural occurrence. They also don't believe an animal managed to carry the boy's body eight miles away, and instead concluded that the body and skull must have been moved and placed by a human. Multiple people claim Redwine has a short temper and a long history of violence. Ex-wife Betsy Horvath told investigators that Redwine was abusive during their six-year marriage, and once said if he ever had to hide a body, he'd put it in the mountains. She also claims that Mark repeatedly violated a custody agreement and told her he would kill the kids before he let her have them. According to Elaine Hall, Redwine wasn't just fighting her for custody of their children, he wanted half of everything, including one shoe from every pair of shoes she owned. Before Dylan's court-ordered visit to stay with his father in November of 2012, the 13-year-old stood before a judge and stated that he did not feel comfortable around his father for various reasons. Dylan claimed that his father would always get angry and speak poorly of his mother and brother during his visits. He also said that he felt uncomfortable after finding bizarre photos of his father dressed in women's clothing while wearing makeup and a diaper. Another photo apparently showed red wine eating feces from the diaper. Dylan's older brother, Corey, claims to have seen the disturbing pictures and believes their father killed Dylan after being confronted by the teen. I think Dylan had a lot more than just pictures that he wanted to get across to Mark, said Corey. He's just a sick person. 
but he's fully aware of his actions, and he's fine with being that person. In the months leading up to Dylan's disappearance, the teen had conversations with multiple people about his father's strange behavior and the photos they had discovered. Dylan was very vocal about his dislike for his father and made many statements about not wanting to visit or associate with him. On the night of November 18th, 2012, Dylan made plans to meet with a friend at 6.30 a.m. the next morning. When Dylan did not show up or contact the friend, they sent a text asking, where are you? But they never got a response. 9.37 p.m. on the 18th of November, 2012 is the last time Dylan sent out a message. During the investigation, Dylan's blood was found on a love seat in Mark Redwine's living room. They also found blood consistent with Dylan's on the couch, the corner of a coffee table, and under a rug in the same living room. Redwine's home was damaged by a fire and had to be remodeled in March 2012. According to Redwine, Dylan had not suffered any injuries in the home after it was repaired. Cadaver dogs were sent in and responded to smells found in Redwine's truck, the living room, the washing machine, and the clothes he was wearing when Dylan went missing. On July 22, 2017, Mark Redwine was arrested and charged with second-degree murder and child abuse resulting in death. Each charge carries a maximum sentence of 48 years. Redwine is scheduled to face trial in September of 2019.